All right, guys, welcome back after a short break. I'm finally recording on YouTube again, and I've prepared some, I hope, pretty interesting materials for you guys. And the first one is this invoice application built with Django, Django REST framework and React.js on the front end. So in order to see exactly what we are going to create, let's log in. So I'm going to provide the username and the password. Okay, and now when I press the, the login button, we should see a spinner and we have something went wrong. So I think I misspelled the password. Let me enter it again. Okay, and now we are at the main page. So currently we have one invoice added. So let's take a look at the details. And this invoice is for the amount of $0 because we didn't add any positions to the invoice. We also see a PDF button over here, so let's press on it. And over here we have this uh, PDF viewer where we can see the invoice, we can actually download the invoice, and we have no positions. So maybe if we go back and we can add a position, let's put in test position, and then let's add test description, okay, and we can add amount of 10 and we see that amount must be a number so let's add a number 10 and now let's press the add button okay we have a confirmation that the position has been added to the invoice and now we can press the pdf button again and there it is and we have the test position test description the amount and now we can see the total amount and the total amount with some tax all right, so this is how it's working. Let's go to the home page and actually create a new invoice. I'm actually going to copy this number just to show you something. I can start typing over here and we have a validation that the invoice number is too short. And then if I paste this number, we have the invoice with the same number already exists. So let's add 02 over here and then Let's select the receiver, the completion date, the issue date, and the payment date. And now let's confirm. And here we have the invoice details again. So we can add again a title, some title, description, some description, and the amount, let's say 20 or $200 and let's press add and then let's add another one um, some title to some description to and the amount let's say $300 and let's press add and let's take a look at the PDF and as you can see we have those details over here okay so let's go back to the home page and maybe let's add one more or two more invoices. So let's do it very quickly. I'm just going to put some, some random data. Doesn't matter right now. Okay, confirm. And I'm going to return immediately to the homepage and I'm going to add another one. Okay. confirm and again I'm going to return to the home page and now we see the load more button we can press it and we see all four invoices so this is what we are going to build and today we are going to start by exploring Django REST framework and we are going to build a very simple API in the next part we are going to integrate it with react and then in the third part we are going to learn some semantic UI React semantic UI basics and on the fourth part we are going to actually start developing this project later this week I'm also going to present another tutorial that is going to be published here on the channel and it will be regarding Django and Stripe payments all right guys so now without further ado let's get started
All right, guys, so let's take a look at what have I done so far. So I started a brand new project called API Proj, and I also created a super user so that I can log into the Django administration, okay? So um, I created a folder called DJ React Integration, and over here we have the backend directory, and this is basically our virtual environment. And here we have the SRC folder, and inside we have our API proj. So right now what I'm going to do is to quit the development server from running, and I'm going to create an application that I'm going to name posts, Python manage py start app posts, all right? And I'm also going to install Django REST framework. So pip install Django REST framework like this. Okay, and let's wait a few seconds. All right, and now I'm going to run the development server again, Python manage py, or we, we don't need to run the development server just yet. Let's take a look at the API proj settings. Over here, what we need to do is to place the posts application in the installed apps as well as the Django REST framework. So let's put in REST framework first. Okay, and then let's put in posts. All right, now we can proceed and go to the posts application to the models py file. Over here, we are going to define our post class which inherits from models.model, model, okay? And we are going to define four fields. The first, the first one is going to be the title, and this is going to be a models char field, char, char field with the max length of 200, all right? And then we will have the description, and this is going to be a models text field, and then I'm also going to put in the created. So this is going to be a model state time field with auto now add is equal to true. And we will also have the author. So in order to uh, provide the author, which will be a foreign key to the user, so we need to import the user from Django contrib auth models we want to import the user model all right so now we can proceed over here models foreign key foreign key we need to pass in the user and specify that on delete we want to have models cascade okay so let's also provide the string representation method and maybe let's return the title, okay? So let's return str self title. Okay, so let's save this. And as the next step, let's register this in the admin so we can actually see it in the Django administration. So first of all, let's import the model. So from dot models, we want to import post and admin site register post perfect let's save this let's go to the terminal and let's run python manage py make migrations python manage py migrate python manage py run server all right so now, if we refresh the page, we should see the posts and let's add one. I'm going to put in test post and test description. And I'm going to select the author as me and I'm going to press save. And maybe let's add another one. Test post to test description, description to and again, the author is going to be me. All right, so right now we can go back to Visual Studio Code and inside the posts application, what I'm going to do is to create another directory called API. Inside of the API, I'm going to create three files, serializers.py, 
URLs py and views py. So let's do this very quickly. Serializers py and then let's add views py and URLs py. Okay, and we are going to begin with serializers. Okay, and we are going to begin with some imports. So from REST framework framework we want to import serializers okay so we want to use the serialization mechanism to translate the django models into json okay so we want to translate in this case our objects of our post class so we need the serializers for this serializers okay and then as the next step we also need our uh, post class post model so from dot dot two dots because uh, we don't have the models in the API directory we have it in the posts directory so um, the post directory is the parent directory of the API so two dots models and then we can import post and now we can define a new class and this is going to be post model serializer which inherits from serializers.model serializer like this and this should look familiar to the model forms for example because over here we are we are also defining a class meta to indicate that the model is going to be the post and we are going to provide the fields that are interesting for us so the id the title the description and we also are going to put in the created and the author okay so we are going to return to this file in just a second but for now let's go ahead and save this and as the next step let's actually create a view so uh, in order to do this we need to of course go to the views py file and we also need to begin from the imports so we are going to create a simple function view later during the project we are going to use in probably 90 percent cases view sets but let's begin in a very simple way using um, a function view and for this we will need the api view decorator so again let's go to rest framework framework and then decorators and from here we want to import the API view all right we will also need a response that we will get from rest framework response so from rest framework response we want to import response we will also need the status so from rest framework framework import status and then we'll need our serializer so from dot serializers we want to import our post model serializer and also we will need our post model so from dot dot again models we want to import post all right so right now we can use the api view decorator and here we are going to specify that we will be dealing with the get and post request so in this video we will focus mainly on the get and then we can define a function let's just call it post list which takes in a request as the next step we are going to check if the request method is equal to get so basically we are checking if we are dealing with the get request then we are going to set a query set and this is going to be post objects all and we need to serialize it with the use of post model serializer so let's define a variable called serializer is equal to and then post model serializer let's pass in the query set and many is equal to true all right so now we can return and then with the use of response 
we are going to pass in serializer.data, okay? And then this is going to be for the next one, the next uh, part of this tutorial series. If lif request method is equal to post, and in this case, what we want to do is to set the serializer to um, post model serializer again, where we are going to specify the data that is equal to request data. And then if the serializer is valid, we are going to add some logic over here and then we can return a response where uh, we are going to pass in the serializer data and then let's add a status equal to status dot http http and then 201 and create it all right and then in other case let's return response response and let's also pass in serializer but not data but errors and the status in this case is going to be equal status and then http and 400 bad request okay so again we will return to this part in the next part for now let's focus on this so we have our post list view our post list API view and the final part is actually to register it so in order to do this let's jump into the URLs py over here let's also begin from the imports so from Django URLs we want to import path and from dot views we want to import our post list okay so now we can open up our URL patterns list and we can actually uh, register our post list so path and here i'm going to put in posts and post list just like this let's go ahead and save this and we actually need to include the url patterns of our posts api in the main urls py file so in the API project URLs py. So in order to do this, I'm going to import include, include, and here let's write path and then API like this. And here I'm going to include posts API URLs. Okay, so let's save this and let's see what we will have. So I'm going to go to api slash posts and there it is so here is our post list okay and the problem that you may see right now is that we don't actually have the author and this created um, doesn't look that nice so as the next step we are going to work on those two fields. So what we need to do is to return to our serializers py file and we are going to specify that the author is going to be serializers and then serializer method field and we will do the same for the created. So I'm going to copy this and put it below and here we won't have the author but the created and then we need to define with the use of get in the front and then we need to relate to one of those two fields we will begin with the author so get author and we need to pass in self and obj so what i'm going to do is to print self print obj and then below what i'm going to return is obj author username okay so let's save this and let's see what do we have over here and we have um has no attribute get created okay so we get this error because right now we also need to specify get created so we 
indicated that this is a serializer method field so we actually need to maybe first let's actually comment this out let's save this and let's hit refresh and as you can see we have the author and we are referring not to the self but to the obj because right now if we take a look at the self this is postmodal serializer okay and the obj is our test post and this makes sense since we are inside of the postmodal serializer class so let's do the same for the created let's actually format this created date in a little bit nicer way so let's put in get created which takes in also self and obj and let's bring this back in and now what we need to do is to return and then obj create it and we are going to format it with the use of strf time and let's put in month and then the day and the year so like this and let's add a comma and let's also add the hour the minute and also the seconds so now let's save this we shouldn't get any errors anymore and this should look a little bit nicer so let's press enter and there it is okay so basically we created our first very simple api we will return to this with the post request in the next part when we will be integrating our API, integrating our Django project with um, the React application that we are going to create. And yeah, during the project that is related to the invoice application, we will do a lot of more stuff that is related to building APIs. So for now, I just want to say thank you and yeah hope to see you guys in the next part all the best bye bye